Texas, this is American Idol. When you're searching for one person to be the next American Idol, where better to look than the Lone Star State? Texas had already given us Kelly Clarkson. And as morning broke, over 5,000 hopefuls turned up in Austin, convinced they had the talent to follow in her footsteps. Some seemed promising. I'll be there to protect you. Others were slightly scary. Hey. What up, American Idol? But no matter how they looked, everyone had the same thing on their minds. It's hot! It's hot, 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 because it's always hot in Texas. Look what the heat did to my house. Oh my god. The reason that it's so hot outside is because I'm so hot. Oh it's so hot in Texas. Why not? As Randy arrived, he was hoping the talent would be just as hot. Smiling eyes of Texas. Come on, Austin. Show me what you got. Paula hoped Cal had cooled off. I hope that Simon's in a good mood today because he hasn't been yet. Simon was just hoping that someone would notice his impressive packs, and by the looks of it, someone did. <laughs> As the judges made their way toward the audition room, the contestants were herded in and branded with a number. Whether they came straight out of hell... Get destroyed! ...or straight out of Hazard County, the strong westerly wind was blowing them into the audition room. First in was a sprightly Julian Riano. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Austin, Texas. I tried really hard to be a dancer for years and years. For whatever reason, I wasn't chosen for the company. I was too short or not strong enough. I looked like a kid. Everything I've been through, even all my failures, um, it's all helped. It's, it's all brought me here, you know. I'm just gonna attack it with a good attitude and that's all I can do. It's too late to be worried, right? <laughs> What's your name, man? My name is Julian Riano. He likes boots like you do. I like boots. I uh, know, I like his boots. They're not just for walking, they're also for dancing. But he can I do like something that. in his boots that you can't do in yours. <laughs> he says you can do the splits in a full leg extend. You can't. You cannot. Here, I can. Shall I just go down? Like just yeah. do it. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Whoa. I'm, yeah, that's awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you sing in that position? I, well, no, 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 no. That'll take a little, that's not quite my training. Okay, so what are you singing, man? I'm going to sing Lemon Tree by Trini Lopez. What? Trini Lopez. Trini Lopez. Ready? Yeah. Ready. <clears throat> When I was just a lad of ten, my father said to me, Come here and take a lesson from a lovely lemon tree. Lemon tree, very pretty, and the lemon flower is sweet. But the fruit of the poor lemon is impossible to eat. Lemon tree, very pretty, and the lemon flower is sweet. Oh. But the fruit of the poor lemon is impossible to eat. All together now. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so check it out. Simon, what do you think, man? There are so many reasons why you're wrong for this competition. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Where why do would I you start? Sing? Singing was terrible, yeah. dude. Well, the singing, I'm sorry, but I think I'm a good singer. Maybe you don't think so, but... I... I'm confused. Shall yeah. I do it again for no. you? No, 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 no. Dude, it's a no. It's a no from all of us. Thank you. Another setback for Julian, but he's not going to let it bother him. Keep following your dreams, always. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. As it turns out, if the judges knew what was coming, they would have hit the road, too. Next. I'll help you carry on, but... Do I need to pick that up? And from there, it got stranger. And stranger. What is up with Austin, man? What's going on in the world? Outside, the sun was still beating down on the people waiting in line. Inside, we were hoping some talent would shine through. I'm Paula Goodspeed, and I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a student. 
Oh yeah, definitely. I really think I'm a pop star. They call me fashion genius, I guess. They do. Who calls you that? Everybody. They're like, Every, really? like, like I go to like, um, like entertainment school. My mod my modeling teacher, and she's like, and she's been in the business for a while. Right on. And she's like, how did you like come up with that? I mean, it fits. It it just barely fits. You know, you have to carry yourself a certain way. You have to have a certain personality to be able to carry my look off. Not everybody can do it. And where on earth could she have gotten the inspiration for this style? I really like Paula Abdul a lot. She's really cool. I'm like a really big fan and I make life-size drawings of Paula. I've been drawing ever since I was a little kid and my first drawing was of Paula Abdul. You know I am. Brace yourself, Paula. Your number one fan is on the way. Hi. Hi, come on in. How are you? Nervous. What's your name? Paula. Paula. And my name. You had it first, so, okay. <laughs> There's yeah. a similarity here. Huh? More than just the name. <laughs> <laughs> I just said there's a similarity. There is. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I see it, definitely. I take it as a compliment, because you're beautiful. No, I meant okay? it as a compliment, yeah. Oh, thank you. And what are you going to sing? Proud Mary by Ike and Tina Turner. Fabulous. Oh, that's a good job in the city. <laughs> Work as all the men every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep. It wasn't worried about the way things might have been. They will keep on turning. Proud Mary, keep on burning. And we're rolling. There is a similarity. Oh, Carl, stop it. Uh, Paula. Okay, I thought you meant me. Oh, my God. No, Paula and Paula. Yeah. Well, Paula, um... Speechless. Don't know what to say. Is it good or bad? <laughs> you know, um... Nah, it's not a great thing. It's, well, it's not a good thing by being speechless. Uh, this, oh. this time, no. Okay. No? Randy? That was terrible. Uh, what was that? But I don't think any artist on earth could sing with that much metal in your mouth anyway. You have so much metal in your mouth. <laughs> She's got braces. It's no, not so much metal. Yeah, but it's metal. It's braces. Yeah. People have them. People yeah, have but braces. You, yeah, but can you sing with all those? Yes. Yeah, people can. <laughs> That's like a bridge. I mean, it's... What? <laughs> could I do another song to show no. you something different? No. No. Randy, yes or no? No to Hollywood. Paula. I'm sorry, Paula, no. It's a no. But nice to meet you. Thank you, Paula. And the love affair is over. He can go okay, because, I mean, I don't even care. How did she get through the metal detector? Oh, I mean, it must have gone stop crazy. <laughs> I mean, I was pitchy on a couple of notes. Big deal. There's a lot of people they send to Hollywood that can't even really hold a note. I mean, come on. Yeah. You know what? It's not over. I'm not going to stop singing just because you don't like my voice. And as far as you want original, you want someone original with a unique voice. Well, you just passed it up. I'm sorry. Peace out. Strange way to start the day. Coming up, as Austin keeps getting weirder, we find someone to put Simon out of his misery. I'm in a bummer. Whoa. Plus, Tessie May makes a prediction. Simon is going to love me from the second I walk in. Welcome back to American Idol. Austin is one of the country's biggest college towns. Students come here to expand their horizons, advance their academic capabilities, and waste their time by dressing up as zombies, gate-crashing idol. But the way things were going in Austin, we had a hard time telling the difference between the undead outside the room and the brain dead inside the room. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. It was Well, let's take out the pleasure yeah, there. Yeah, wow. No matter what you're gonna say, oh, 
I think every note was out of tune. Even the out of tune notes are out of tune. So the judges still haven't put anyone through to Hollywood. Could it be that the auditions had been cursed? Just when you had made the right song choice. Just when your confidence had reached its peak. Just when you thought it was safe to open your mouth. That's when they attack. Idle American Pictures presents Curse of the Coens. <laughs> All over Austin, some force was taking control of people. Stripping them of the power to move like human beings. Forcing them to talk in strange alien languages. What do you feed your babies? And most shockingly of all, to sing in hideous, unearthly voices. <laughs> Nothing compares to you. Maybe the only man to break the spell would be the one used to dealing with the dead. I'm Jason Horn from Longview, Texas, and I'm a funeral director. I consider myself uh, to be a, a good embalmer and take pride in my work. It was kind of a family ordeal, and we really enjoy working together. But, uh, we find it brings us closer. Jason's a horrible funeral director. Oh, he can't no. do anything right. We're always having to pick up his slack. Jonathan, <laughs> I'm just you kidding. know that's not true. I'm kidding. People think funeral directors are, are plastic and cold and uh, just real somber and, and don't have any personality. Quit. Okay. Both of you. Our family is in, in the staff here is just the opposite. I think that uh, American Idol will help to erase the stereotype that uh, funeral directors are not ordinary people. I think we are. I don't know what's going to happen today. I'm just going to go in there and be myself. I would like to get through to the next round. That would be neat. I'm just honored to be here. Hi, come in. Hey, it's a little tough out there, huh? Well, a little crazy Ooh. out there. What do you do for a living? I'm in a bomber. Whoa. Wow. So you'd work well on him doing makeup. <laughs> yeah. He looks nice. Good color right now. Do you have a like... Good color, I know. Yeah. So. Okay, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing You Raise Me Up by Josh Grove. Of course. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Only on American Idol. Okay. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Randy. Wow, I guess you can learn from the uh, <laughs> dearly departed dude. I mean, that was that was really good. I'm, do you sing when you're embalming? No. Yes. Well, you know what? It's quiet. It's like There's tea. nobody back there to Good listen acoustics. that I know of. I mean, you know, they could be listening, but I don't know. Okay. Oh. Randy, yes or no? Uh, I would say yes, dude. That was, I thought that was Thank really you. good. Thank you. Paula? Absolutely, yes. Especially if you can make him look good. Just yeah. imagine what you do. You're going to Hollywood. Congratulations. Welcome to Hollywood! I can't believe it. Thank you. You did well. Man. Well done. That's Very great. good. Nice to meet you. I'm going to Hollywood! Maybe Austin had finally turned around. <laughs> Great. Oh, Great. my God. Ciara Johnson was sure a ticket was headed her way, too. I'm a veterinarian assistant and part-time dance choreographer. I feel that coming into the competition, a lot of people make the mistake and try to portray like their idols and things like that. But I'm just coming being myself, and hopefully that'll get me where I need to be. I'm the next American Idol because I have a new, jazzy, powerful voice. And I've seen the rock, I've seen the pop, I've seen it all. And now it's time for y'all to see some jazz. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Sierra. And how old are you, Sierra? I'm 20. 20? Mm hmm Okay. Are you any good? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. Good. You're confident? Yes. Great. And what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Oh Holy Night. Fabulous. I love that song. Knock a step. Fall on your knees Oh, hey.
Awful. It's about 12 keys going on there. Absolutely awful. I'm really surprised. I, for whatever reason, I thought you were going to be really good. It was terrible. Can I try a different song? No. Silent night, but take off the night. Silent no, 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 I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. No, I didn't mean it. All is calm, all is bright. No, no, no. All right, please, please. Stop. Yeah. Stop. No, no, stop. No, no, stop. Stop. no more carols. No more carols. <laughs> Randy, is, Randy no is. No to the Christmas girl. No Christmas girl. Paula? Um, no, Sierra, I'm sorry. I would have said yes, but it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. Thank you. Thank you, Sierra. It's like the soundtrack of Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'll be buying my album soon. But that's all I have to say, because I don't want to get embarrassed on TV any more than I already am. Well, we spoke too soon. The home of the Longhorns was more of a bum steer. No. 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 Yeah. I'm not even a little bit happy. I just want to go home. You <laughs> said I could see, but I didn't make it. The Austin auditions were starting to fall apart. But who would pick up all the pieces? Coming up, could a perfect 10 be the next American Idol? I would like to adjust my necklace, if you don't mind. Could Ronnie be the next American Gigolo? I get along. I mean, I get along with ladies. <laughs> and could Randy be in two places at once? What is this? Oh my God. Welcome back to Austin. Now, we've had people come audition from all over the country, some possibly from another planet. But no one's travel story quite compares to that of Allison Schoening. My name is Allison Schoening. I'm currently attending school at the University of North Carolina. So I flew here from Raleigh. Um, almost died on the flight here. The plane blew at least one back door seal. So they shuffled everybody from the back of the plane to the front and we had to wear oxygen masks um, for the entire time. And I literally had my cell phone open. Like everyone had their cell phones on because they didn't know if the pilot was gonna lose control again. And so I was Sitting there, I know it sounds kind of funny now, but I was sitting there trying to decide who to call, my mom or my dad. I recommend going through that at least once in your life. It changes things. After an experience like that, performing for our judges should be a walk in the park. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Good. I'm Allison. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. So what are you going to sing for us that's going to make us fall in love with you? It's um, In Another's Eyes. It's a duet by Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood. Okay. In another's eyes, I can't do no wrong. He believes in me, and his faith is strong. I never fall. Okay, you're laughing. I'm gonna stop. I'm laughing because I had I'm a cat once whose tail got caught in a door. Oh, and stop I it! I swear girl, to God, it, it reminds me of that. Stop it! I know. I was like sound slam. Like that. No, that's rude, dude. That's rude. No, it's okay. That I could hear that was. You bad. could hear that was bad. That was really bad. At least you could hear that. No, it hear was that. horrible. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Redeem yourself. Um, I'm just gonna tell you that I'm nervous and. That's okay. I'm sounding horrible right now. Why don't you come back in half yeah. an hour, sweetheart? Yeah, come back towards the end. Yeah, shake your nerves out yeah. and come back. You're, le you're gonna let me do that? Yeah, because yeah, we believe in you. Okay. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you want. Okay, all right. Thank okay. You. And when you come back in, imagine Randy in his swimming trunks. I was like to imagine you, but that's probably why I suck so bad. Whoa! Oh! Yo! Touchdown! Yo! 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 In other yeah! words, it's like too exciting. Yeah! The best, yeah. the best comment of the day. I love that. But you meant that as a compliment. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, compliment. No. That is. girl speaks the truth right there, y'all. That's the truth going Thank through you, that honey. door. You've made my day. And I was nice to you. So Allison waits outside and tries to settle her nerves. It's Meanwhile, sad. Austin continues to be Austin. No, he screwed up. Apparently, I'm not good enough. That's fine. No. Oh, no. That's okay. That's their opinion. I don't care anymore. The judges weren't sure why they had come back to Austin. Jeffrey Pollock wasn't sure why he was here either. I think I'm the next American Idol because I <laughs> I don't know. I... 
Hmm. Can I think about it? Take all the time you need. <laughs> mm. Okay, I didn't mean all the time you need. Luckily, Jeff's friend Ricky seems to be a bit more decisive. This is like my life. Um, a lot of people, it's their dream, but they're like, if I don't get this, I can do, do something else. Well, there's nothing else for me. This is like what I'm meant to do. This is what I think about. This is what I dream about when I'm asleep. When I'm awake, this is all I talk about. Everybody be like, Ricky, shut up. Hey, What's doing? going down, family? Nothing much. How y'all doing? What's your name, man? My name is Ricky. I'm 21. I'm from Bedford, Texas. And I go to Texas A&M Commerce, and I'm a music major. You're a music wow. major. So, dude, you're supposed to be really good now. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, right? Are you putting all the colleges in America on blast right now? No pressure. All right. Turn down the light and turn down the bed and turn down these voices inside my head. Lay down with me and tell me no lies just hold me close and don't patronize don't patronize cause i can't make you love me if you don't thank you mm. all right paula what say you refreshing beyond refreshing I Hello, think, Austin. I think you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Simon Cowell? I think, for me, the nicest sounding voice I've heard on the audition so far. Pleasant, Not the right? biggest voice, but the nicest sounding voice. Control. And there's something distinct about it as well. Loved it. Thank you. Loved it. Thank you. Very pleasant, man. You've now done the university system proud, man. <laughs> a music major that actually sings in tune with a nice tone. Yes or no, Paula? Absolutely, 100% yes. Simon? Oh, sure. Absolutely, 100%. Woo! I say yes, so guess what that means, baby? Welcome to Hollywood, Ricky! Well done, kiddo. So, Ricky proves to be a role model for the music majors of Austin. But there was a different kind of model, still waiting to show her talents to the judges. My name's Ashley Jackson, and I live in Dallas, and I'm a fit model. Every day I go to work and I try on clothes and I make sure that all the garments fit properly, like all the shirts and all the jeans and outerwear and all that. It's really fun. I would like to adjust my necklace if you don't mind. I'm pretty confident, I guess. <laughs> You're a model? No, I'm a fit model. Yeah. Fit? Oh, uh, yes. so like I'm not me. In pictures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could work together. <laughs> Before and after. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. Well, go ahead and okay. wow us. People are talking, talking about people. I hear them whisper, you won't believe it. They think we're lovers, kept undercover. I'll just ignore them, but they keep saying we laugh just a little too loud. Stand just a little too close. We stare just a little too long. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> you were just getting into it, huh? Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Something else? It says you can sing with your mouth closed. Let me hear that. Yeah, oh we my might. Gosh, everyone's <laughs> asked me to do wow. that. So we, we might prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not going Dallas. great right now. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully you'll like it. Amazing. Beautiful. That is amazing. Well, thank you. I've never met anyone who can do that. <laughs> Simon, what do you think about Ashley? Um, I like you. I'm just not crazy about your singing. But I think a lot of people would like you. I think they would too. I really do. And I hope you all do. I think well, I mean, Randy you, did. Whatever. Oh my. I... <laughs> Randy, yes or no? I like this girl. I think she deserves another shot. Paula? No, no. Uh, Simon. I agree with Randy. Yay! You're going to Hollywood. You are a lucky girl. Welcome oh, to gosh, Hollywood! Ashley Jackson, singing with her mouth closed, and Randy Jackson's jaw nearly hit the table. Imagine that. More auditions coming up right after the break from Austin. Coming up.
big heads. I had like tons of people saying, yeah, man, you should do it, you should do it, yeah. You can sing, and it's your personality, man, they love you, they love you. Big dreams. I could be like the next big famous person. And big insults. Randy, this is what it could be like with you on the diet. Oh! Welcome back to American Idol. Now, we've already established that the contestants here in Austin are pretty out there, but we found something that is truly extraordinary. A man who loves himself more than Simon. My name is Ronnie Norman, but uh, well, friends call me RJ. Actually, everybody calls me RJ, but everybody's my friend. So uh, I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Tyler, Texas. I do work at a restaurant uh, to kind of make my own bills. I'm auditioning for American Idol because I had like tons of people saying, yeah, man, you should do it, you should do it, yeah. You can sing and it's your personality, man, they love you, they love you. It'll be easy for me, so. I'm just ready. That's my, that's my feelings. I'm just ready. But it looked like he was ready to get a few phone numbers first. Tish. Tish. Tish, Oklahoma. Tish, okay? Yes. And you're from where? I guess you could call me a bit of a ladies, man. People think I'm cocky, but I'm confident. But, I mean, I get along with ladies, <laughs> I guess. Some of it's just when I'm waiting tables, you know, it's, you know, 30, 30, you know, 30 and up, they're drinking some wine. That's money, man, that's money. You just flirt with them, they love it, especially if you don't see a little ring on the finger. Maybe they got a divorce, maybe they're widowed, maybe they pop, pop. While Allison thinks over song choices for her second audition, she gets a taste of what Ronnie has to offer the ladies. I like baseball. Football. I think baseball's pretty boring. It's, pr it's a pretty boring sport. You just made everything really awkward. Is that okay? Is it? <laughs> oh, wow. She at me. <laughs> so what was his plan for winning over the judges? I'm just gonna walk in and be me, and that's what they're gonna love. So, no flirting, not till the, not till the next round. <laughs> yeah. Are you the next American Idol dude? I think I could be. I think I think y'all would love me. I got a great personality and I'm real charming. And you think because you're friendly and charming, that's going to help you singing? I mean, well, most everybody can sing here. Oh, so, yeah. I disagree with that. Yeah? All right, what are you singing, dude? Ain't No Sunshine, uh, Bill Withers. Good. Do it. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It ain't warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. And I know, I know, I know. Hey, I'll leave the young thing alone. But ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Okay. Simon Cow. Good. Good. Paul Abdul. Oh, I like your voice. I like what you did. You. you cut right to the, the meat of the song and gave it to I didn't want to get cut off. Figured you'd stop and kind of duck. Don't cut me off. Yeah, I didn't, uh, really, I I didn't really like hard. it, dude. I thought it was just average. It was out of tune at the end. I didn't like it. Okay. Paula? I'm going to say yeah. I'm, I okay. like you. I agree with Paula. You're through to the next round. All right, welcome to Hollywood. They put you through, dude. Thank you guys so much. You're, You're going to change me, huh? All right, change me. We all hope so. Change me, change me. So Ronnie discovers there's nothing like a ticket to Hollywood when you're trying to impress the girls. And of course he takes the criticism with his usual humble attitude. Are we rolling now? We're rolling. Okay. Randy said that I was flat at the end, which I really don't think I was. But I mean I know he's like a you know, he knows what he's doing, but I got a good ear too. Hollywood. Huh. So good news for the ladies of Hollywood. Ronnie Norman is on the way and we are sure you'll be rooting for him at home. But Randy wasn't convinced. No, he was terrible. Oh. Oh, God! Oh. But he was much happier with the next guy in the room. Come on, man! <laughs> what is this, man? <laughs> oh, my All God. All right, dude. Dude, dude. <laughs> What is up, man? What's your name? Kevin. Kevin what? Mitchell. Kevin Mitchell. Where are you from, Kev? I'm from Longview, Texas. How, how old are you, man? I'm 27 years old. So I've just got to say, I'm just, for, for you, Randy, this is what it could be like with you on a diet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get it out of the way. Who do people always say you look like? I look like you, man. No, they say no, you look you like me. You plan B. <laughs> Unbelievable. You poor thing. Randy. See, you yeah, poor, you're a handsome, poor thing. You're a handsome guy, man. Kevin, does it help with the chicks? 
It does help. It does. It does yeah, help. yeah. It does. Yes. Why? It, Everyone thinks you're him. Yeah, they think I'm Randy. Would you, you ever something. sign autographs? A couple. Yeah. I sound like Randy's name, of course. I that way, if I get in trouble, you know. I love so. it. <laughs> duh, duh. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Set my brother, first. my brother from a different mother. <laughs> my mother. Yeah. Okay, but Kevin, Same we're, father, we're looking for one big difference here. Right. Do you have talent? <laughs> oh, oh my God! Wow. <laughs> what you seeing, man? What you gonna sing, Kev? Uh, let's see. Hot sun beating down, burning my feet just to walking around. Hot sun making me sweat again. It's getting close, hasn't got me yet. Cause I can dance, I can talk. Only thing about me is the way that I walk. Cause I can dance. Thank you. I Thank you. Simon Carl, what do you think of Kevin? A bit like you as a judge, slightly forgettable. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's sum this up. Uh, Paula? I'm going to have to pass, honey. I know, man. Ready? I think you're a very handsome guy, but vocally just wasn't there. That's cool. Simon, what do you think of Kevin? Oh, I can't wait for this. Randy Jackson, you're not on American Idol anymore. <laughs> <laughs> up next, can Austin be saved by a 16-year-old? I know you want to leave me. Will Jeffrey remember why he's here? And Tessie Mae freaks out. <laughs> Welcome back to Austin. Remember Allison who had a narrow escape in the air but crashed and burned in the audition room? She's going back in. She's back. What's going on? I'm very, very good. I'm optimistic. I'm happy. Good. I'm just, I just wanted to come back to prove to you that I wasn't as bad as I sounded good. before. Good. That's why we gave you a second chance. Yeah. What are you going to sing? I'm going to stick with what I do best. Go for it. Okay. All right. Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. But I never lost one minute of sleep. Okay. That's, I'm just, I just wanted, like, that's not good, I know, but I just wanted to prove to you that it wasn't. That was about the same. No, because at least it was like a couple octaves. I think it was almost as bad. Was it? Really yeah. close. Moment of truth, Simon. It's a no. Paula? I'm sorry. It's a no. All right, thank you. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Hope you had fun. Next in was 16-year-old William McCarr. Remember, we've already seen two outstanding 16-year-old girls, Paris Bennett from Greensboro and Lisa Tucker from Denver. Yeah, Would yeah, a boy get ahead, past man. the panel? What's going on? Oh, nothing much. All right, so you're here because you know you're the next American Idol. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing The Temptations Ain't Too Proud to Beg. Great. Good song. Go for it, baby. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. If I have to beg, plead for your sympathy, I don't mind, cause it mean that much to me. Ain't too proud to beg, a sweet darling, please don't leave me, girl. Ain't too proud to plead, baby, baby, please don't leave me, girl. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so what do you think, Paula? You know when they do profiles on, on artists and you get like the young Justin Timberlake or the young Britney Spears right, 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 performing right, right. in the... Because he's yo so young. He's right. so young. Um, yeah, but you have a sweet voice. I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready for it, but I think you're on your way. I actually quite like you. I thought you had a better voice than I expected for a 16-year-old. I think mothers would adore you. Uh, so I'm, I'm the opposite of Paula on this one. Oh, come on. You got my vote. The voice was okay. 16, it's not bad. Guess what, dude? You're on the way to Hollywood! Oh, yeah, we... All right. Thank you all so Off you much. Go. See you in Hollywood, baby. <laughs> So, William McCarr becomes the youngest person from Austin to make it through. Coming up, Tessie May. 
I just sing good, I know that, and everybody around me knows that. Then again, Tessie may not. You put down your, you sound exactly like Avril Lavigne. What? Let's hear it. Well, we're wrapping up a pretty long day here in Austin, and if I'm being honest, it hasn't been our most successful stop this year. But have we saved the best till last? No. Hey, my name is Tessie Reed, and I'm from Arlington. I'm 17 years old. I have been compared kind of to Diana DeGarmo, um, and maybe Carrie a little, because I do sing country sometimes. I think I should be a pop star because I could be like the next big famous person. I've got my own style, and I think people would just like me. I think they'd listen to my music. I think they'd buy my CDs. I don't ever like fight for this top spot because I don't think that I need to. I'm, you know, I just sing good, I know that, and everybody around me knows that, and everybody tells me I sing good, so I'm gonna be a star. Simon is gonna love me. He's gonna love me from the second I walk in. Your name? Tessie. My name is Tessie Reed. How old are you? 17. What are you going to sing? Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Whenever you're ready. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, baby. Oh no, darling, no wind or rain <laughs> or winter's cold can't stop me, baby. Oh no, darling, if you're ever in trouble, just send from me, oh baby. I wouldn't have chosen that song. I wouldn't chose any song. You put down your, you sound exactly like Avril Lavigne. What? I'm going to be really nice and suggest to you an entirely new career path. Okay. Which does not involve singing or performing. Because I like you. Because for me, it was. I think you're wrong, but okay. <laughs> of course. Honestly, absolutely frightful, the whole thing. Tess, do you think you did well? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So where. I think you're all wrong. Well. <laughs> You know, we've been, we've been wrong before. I don't, nope, this I don't time. think we're wrong this time, though. I don't think we're wrong right now. I think you're wrong. I really do. Okay. Yes or no, Simon? Uh, no. Hold on. Sorry to know, Tess. Thank you. Okay. You're missing out. You really are missing out on a lot. I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> She's mad. Dreadful. Did they give you any direction? Anything? They told me never to sing again. You know when you buy a sack and you try and stuff it, <laughs> stuff it full of potatoes, and you just keep pushing oh, and pushing? Oh, stop it! Stop it! They were wrong. They were really wrong. It's like, no, I can get another potato in there. Hang on. <laughs> no. So Austin ends as weird as it began. Only 12 people from Austin made it to Hollywood. But for those who did, the experience was a knockout. <laughs> and that was it for Austin. As the light faded, the judges headed out, leaving only one matter unattended. Jeffrey. He's had a revelation. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm probably not going to be an exciting contestant for you. That's it? Next week, the auditions end when we hit Boston. American Idol is wicked awesome! And in the City of Patriots, we found the All-American Girl. And the All-Out Hottie. 
The locals were all about the attitude. Get away! Simon doesn't want to deal with me. Because I was so, I don't care what anybody says, I beat the crab out of him. We found a share impersonator. Do you believe in life after love? And an idol impersonator. Y'all might call me the next Clay Aiken. Bean Town was no tea party. Everybody's working for the weekend. Oh my God. Fortunately, we had gorgeous twins. Thank you. And confident guys. Do you ever not feel sexy, Lucas? No. Plus, some of the best talent in the country. Some people want help. Baby, please believe in me. Then on Wednesday, we hit Hollywood. 175 of the nation's top singers are brought to one stage for the chance of a lifetime. They arrive from all over the country. Made it to Hollywood, baby. Woo! With the same idea on their minds. I'm the next American Idol! This is Hell Week. My hands are shaking. Everyone is pushed to their breaking point. And things get personal. You got on everybody's nerves. If you're around me, there is no idealistic. A few will survive, most will be eliminated. It takes a strong person to be able to go through Hollywood Week, that's for sure.